Stanford and you had this 10-year-old gal and she was hitting the ball a ton. You were uh, threatening her with, you know, 20 or 40 at the baseline. And I, just, I was watching that kid and I could see a little smile on her face, you know. And right. They know, they know, they know that, I, that this, I, I, should, I should publish this little, it's a little, nothing really different, you know. It's maybe only about five pages of Maria uh, writing a little booklet to me, you know, like what it is like to have a lesson with Robert, you know. That's what the little booklet, she put little pictures in there, whatever. And and it, it talks about uh, the, how I, I, I make it appear like it's really tough, but how she knows that I don't really, that I mean it, that I'm, I'm really nice, that I'm a nice guy, you know. But that's what the book is sort of about, how, how she has to hit ball after ball after ball after ball and look for the way he is. He, as she says, that many times he's in pain. I hate for him to be in pain. And he has his look. You know, he takes his sunglasses off and he looks at you. But it's all in, 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 it's all positive kind of thing, you know. And I think that's what the kids get out of it. So, like I sound like I'm a brutal guy. And I'm so smart when it comes to that point of work twerking the kid and making the kid believe that they can do better than they were doing. See? Mm-hmm. And so that's why, because I always feel like you have to, when you, when you, when you teach a kid, you've got to get them ahead of where they should be. That's my belief. If they're 11, they should be playing like a 13-year-old. When they're 13, they should be playing like a 15, 16-year-old. When they're 16, they should be trying to be playing on the tour. Basically, and the, the time the time change has changed a little bit about ages, but that's sort of still what it is. So you try to always improve them. You try to make them better than than they should be. You know, earlier <clears throat> you brought up a you brought up a point about how they change, and I was going to interrupt you. How they change where the kids don't uh, they they cannot play certain tournaments to a certain age. Okay, I think you cannot play. The WTA, a couple of tournaments until you're 14 or something like this, okay? It's plain stupid, okay? And that, that rule was made up, I don't know. Now, Tracy Austin was part of it, and I think she made the rules so nobody could beat her record of being the youngest U.S. Open in her life. <laughs> That's a stupid rule because these kids nowadays are playing ITFs, okay? So it's so got old there. It's not a WTA tournament. They just play these ITF tournaments. And they mm-hmm. did travel all over the world to take points for ITF. So there's no difference in the travel, the pressure. All of there's no difference. And the, the amount of people that are 15 years old and can play in the U.S. are slim, okay? So let them really play whatever they can play. But no, there's no difference in pressure. There's pressure playing a local tournament. There's pressure in playing ITFs. They all play this, this pressure and play a $10,000 tournament. So let these kids play. You're only going to have a few in the, in the world that are 16 years old and are qualified to play in the U.S. Open, okay? They're not that many. So let them play. Let them, let them, let them play. If they can get points when they're 14 years old, let them get points. Who cares? 